very good evening to all of you uh, are you able to hear me good evening to lakshmi can you confirm if you are able to hear me okay good evening afzal chetan pratamesh is telling yes sri lakshmi is telling in good evening vivek hope you are all doing well good evening g2 ashwin rakesh so good see people are joining in let's give some time to join good evening anjum hope audio is fine right all you are able to hear me okay sonal good evening sri lakshmi doing good and uh, prakash Sir, you also have lab session 6 p.m. So should I attend or not? Okay, <laughs> Arshil. So Arshil, um, I don't know which batch you are from. I already informed mentors about today's workshop. Also, if you're from early batch, you can attend till five. But otherwise, you can attend fully. Right, uh, Munir. Good evening, Sandeep, Ankush. Good evening, Vikas. So students are just joining in. Uh, yes, Ashwini, yes, Ashwini. Sorry, yes, Ashwini. Good evening, yes, Ashwini. Are you able to see my screen? I just shared my screen. Are you able to see? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the confirmation. Okay. Thank you, Aishwarya Jitu.
sorry there was some disconnect i think it connected again am i audible now the safan is telling not audible am i audible guys okay all right thanks andeep all right i think we are five five now we'll get started uh, so welcome folks again uh, for our discussion if you look at uh, last two days we have done our uh, monthly placement meeting uh, february monthly meeting about uh, placement updates and how the jobs are uh, getting created and how companies are hiring how we are getting more companies for placements and uh, how month on month or year on year placements are increasing in emergency and what are the reasons why it is increasing and how we see the job market is going to only increase happening as we move forward right we discussed about a lot of uh, updates followed by q and a um, i guess uh, uh, that is the most interesting thing i enjoy because slides pretty much remain the same except few data point updates for me the conversations the interactions is what i enjoy every time including uh, today's right uh, so to, uh, so from today onwards we are going to start our disha workshops so disha workshops uh, if you look at few months back before november i used to combine the placement updates with disha workshops and i used to do it in once in a month but you know three months was a long gap you know and then many students tell told me that you know sir it would be good if those updates are given frequently uh, especially the placement updates part uh, that's why we converted that into monthly placement updates from november december jan uh, for four months we've been doing it uh, consistently we'll continue to do the so do it so and uh, disha workshops we kind of decoupled so today onwards we are starting with uh, uh, disha workshops so where we are going to focus on uh, two major areas uh, one is about uh, the resume preparation which will be the focus from today uh, basically how to write uh, an impressive resume or rather before we get into that we wanted to learn how not to write a resume or what are the common mistakes that we do in a resume and we'll get into how to write a resume and then yesterday there were a lot of questions about you know how do i represent my projects i have done a lot of hobby projects internship projects or previous experience projects so how do we explain or how do we mention them in in my resume right so we we'll, we are going to get into the, those aspects and followed by we all we already have a template in emergency uh, which i'll walk you through each and every section and how do you fill those templates so i will also show you some examples of our uh, past students about how they filled up the resume because it's going to make a very significant impact when you are uh, applying for placement companies having a uh, you know good impressive resume plays a very important role which also reiterated by location team yesterday because you know many of us send the old resumes or we don't mention the appropriate uh, skill sets whatever we learned in emergency etc so that's not okay we need to make our resume really really impressive so we are going to learn about that first uh, today and good part of tomorrow and uh, tomorrow probably we'll also get started with facing interviews again when you talk about facing interviews there are two components one is the technical interviews and then hr or management round interviews so how to face then what are the common points that you need to keep in mind and more than that we also learn how to avoid the common mistakes because you know some of the mistakes which our students make more of a blunder mistakes how to avoid them so that you increase the probability of uh, selecting in the technical and hr interviews so we are going to discuss about that so this will be roughly for 3 days today is wednesday so wednesday thursday friday we should be able to finish it in worst case if i require an another hour or so probably will you know i'll inform you uh, by the end of friday we can take it up on monday okay so but we should be good we should be able to comfortably cover in 3 uh, days okay so that's the agenda for disha workshop so before we start that as always uh, we would like to have a follow up from our last um, workshop yesterday if you see the monthly placement update was more about q and a so i wanted to uh, understand from you what is the one thing you learned yesterday specific about yesterday's workshop what did you learn can you share your learnings in the window what did you learn from yesterday lot of questions if you see right um so prathamesh is telling make lots of projects absolutely in fact that naturally moves to today's topic right doing more project is very very important why and uh, you know why we stress on projects we will talk about it uh, good good input prathamesh other students what did you learn yesterday from yesterday's discussion percentage is not a barrier absolutely we you know i know it's not very easy to come out of that mindset 
because you know some of the thought process would have formed in your mind over a period of time i am an older era pass out or i am having lesser percentage etc etc right it takes some time to get over it uh, and you know uh, by seeing more success stories and what we have been say, seeing in imagery so far you all should be definitely able to come out of that okay uh, so projects are key to get a dream job say sandeep absolutely again in your words what uh, prathamesh has said uh, there is a never ending uh, there is a never end to getting a job in embedded electronics absolutely because more and more uh, devices are coming into picture you know whichever you even thought will never get uh, you know electronics enabled it's all getting enabled right and as long as devices are there in the world embedded systems will be there and not only about uh, devices devices also also getting smart if you remember the uh, you know the webinar that uh, dr cp C. ravikumar told about uh, the electric vehicles right everything in today's um, world can be sensor integrated like you know even if it is a notebook or i'm i'm having this water bottle right so everything can be sensor integrated and you know put a small piece of electronics in it so that means to say more and more devices are getting smarter and we are connecting into internet that's what we say internet of things right or on top of it once we have data coming in right you have a lot of machine learning models you run and then even you start getting into prediction right so sensors are the source from where data is getting generated which also means to say more and more uh, devices are going to get designed and manufactured and uh, as more manufacturing come more design will come and more design means more job opportunities for vlsi engineers and embedded engineers so definitely the future looks really really good okay that's thanks for calling out that rishav gain confidence in robin singh that's always the bottom line in every workshop that we do uh, by the end of um, every session right um, what is my objective is to ensure that you guys get a mental clarity right because i always believe you people are very smart uh, only issue is that you are not been given the right set of information in the right set of man right manner and show the path right once you once you have been shown the path you guys know how to walk the path you know you are very smart you will automatically do it you know over and over you know students getting placed once only proves my belief that you guys all you need is you know one uh, guidance or what you call mentoring right so mentoring and motivation go hand in hand so my idea of these sessions is to ensure that break the data represent in such a way that you guys can easily understand build the big picture and get the you know right set of uh, uh, knowledge about job market technology etc etc so that you get automatically motivated okay that's always there glad, glad to know that robin uh, resume must be good and updated before entering the drive say yes, sankit very good uh, era percentage era password percentage doesn't matter um, uh, of you know uh, having a good skill hard work pace say sri lakshmi that's correct sri lakshmi that's what you know we have been discussing showing so many success stories of students from the past batch etc then afan says we need to perform really really good to get a premium job if you don't uh, then emerge won't resume send resumes to companies <laughs> so especially top company right okay see uh, uh, people ask me so many questions every every monthly meeting i get uh, so many queries about qualcom microchip maveneer all the companies where double digit uh, salaries have been paid right 10 10 lakhs and above Right. Everybody wants it. Who doesn't want, right? Okay. But the point is, we don't often see the importance of performance, right? Okay. Companies do want the smartest talent available in the market, and they will do, you know, whatever it takes to source the talent. And if you don't find it in emergency, they'll go to some other place, right? So it's always that companies want to attract the right set of uh, uh, talent, right? Uh, that's what they do. So in this case, with respect to students, right? They, you all need to put the right set of uh, effort. Then only we'll be able to forward. Yeah. From our side, we. will push the companies to come and uh, you know participate in the drive but end of the days let us say for example uh, a company like qualcom or nhp send comes right there are hundreds of students apply but if you see 10 20 only get shortlist and what basis they get shortlisted it's because based on the performance in emergency so always ensure that being regular to the classes doing all the assignments and projects plays a very important role okay. uh, then uh, vivek is telling importance of doing a uh, substantial project that's correct the more number of projects that you have in your resume uh, it will really look good not only it look good it will increase your probability of getting selected increase your probability of getting a premium job also okay the the secret solution is about having more number of projects okay um so afan is telling video has stopped is it is it so guys are able to hope my video and audio are okay 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 Right, maybe Afan, there is there could be some connection issue, I guess, in your side. Please check. All right. 
so that's what we have done uh, so shall we proceed with today's agenda resume preparation you know initial 10 15 minutes we get to you know warm up shall i start the resume preparation workshop okay pragya says yes okay many ss coming in sandeep robin mohammed johar rajya b pasand deepika afsal great okay let us get started with um resume preparation workshop okay so let me open the slide okay. so today's agenda is resume preparation workshop okay so what are we going to learn first okay so before we get into uh, any further we wanted to learn about how not to write a resume it's, it's today's majority of the focus is going to be how not to write a resume okay but before we get into how not to write a resume let us understand why even write a resume what is the reason you should write your resume can i get some answers why should you write a resume forget about what you write in it what is the need so rajya is telling it's an overview okay overview about an individual about you in your case right what are the, what other is the reason to project our important skills says vivek very good experience and the work we carried says sri lakshmi to showcase our skill says uh, ashwini uh, advertising our talents says praveen <laughs> praveen shankar i'm happy to see that word advertising okay because please note right any product that you wanted to buy today okay let us say that you want to buy a phone right you wanted to buy this particular you know this is like like one plus i think some 5r or some some model right so suppose i wanted to buy this particular product right i want to buy this particular phone right i need to have the necessary information about the phone one and that information need to be represented in a very impressive manner imagine i'll give a 10 page manual if you remember right every uh, product comes with a manual right some sometimes like 10 page multiple languages sometimes you open right this big uh, you know notebook will be there you know inside the box right we never read it but what you need is along with the product you need some kind of a summary some kind of a, you know easy to understand way where you are able to represent yourself and also make it impressive for example if you talk about you know this particular one plus phone right there are many places who are selling the phone okay, you have to let us say for example companies like apple company like samsung mi oppo i don't know there are many brands who are selling the phone right so now given that many people are selling the phone right i need to decide i'm a buyer here i need to buy which phone is suitable for me and in order to make the decision how well the project information the product information is mentioned and how easy for me to understand and how it is impressive it is one is the specification part of it what is the ram what is the refresh rate what is the megapixel what is the total ram and what is the storage size and what is the version of android this one sort of thing right and along with that what type of photograph demos reviews there's a lot of things right i don't make a decision just like that and even there are um, a website which will compare right let's say phone yeah let's say one one plus phone one mi phone and one let us say apple phone or one oppo phone you put that right it shows in a tabular format saying that which is good in what am i right okay so this is what you are doing as a buyer yeah okay? whenever you want to buy a phone this is what we do and then on top of it you see which is giving a better price along with the price is there a buyback option or there's a cashback option if you do it via some credit card or debit card is there any additional discount and sometimes we say hey, you know sba is uh, sba credit cards are having 10 percent discount so what do you do you go and find out a friend get hold of his credit card put that sba credit card and get the 10 percent discount or you will see whether are they giving uh you know are they giving any additional benefit like for example free insurance or some cover they are giving right are some in those days and all they used to give some extra memory stick nowadays anyways you have tons of memory in the phone itself right we are running into gbs but earlier they used to give a small sd card as additional you know uh, add-on right we consider all this aspect before you do the decision right in the same way your resume is your marketing document you can call it as a flyer you can call it as an advertisement you can call it as a brochure or you can say you you are creating your own you know uh, these days what you call in instagram you call reels right you are going to create your own one minute reel so that you become make yourself impressive for the you know employer okay here coming back to the point of buyer and seller right who is the buyer who is the seller in the job market 
right? Who is the buyer and who is the seller? Company is the buyer, right? And who is the seller? We are the seller, says Pratamesh, right? Very simple. Okay. Coming back to the same example of phone, right? The students, right? You people are the uh, buyer, sorry, seller, and companies are the buyer. Here, there is a huge challenge in India because we have a lot of engineers coming out of the market. Let us say, for example, statistically, I think by 2024, you know, what the statistics says, the statistics says roughly around 10 to 12 lakh, you know, graduates are available in India to obtain jobs, right? 10 to 12 lakh students are coming out every year, passing out by 2024 is one of the report says, right? To in the job market, I'm talking about only freshers, right? 10 to 12 lakhs freshers are passing out every year, right? Now, all of them are sellers. Now, who is the buyer? Company. And the company has got limited number of openings, right? What is the number of openings? Let us say in an embedded system kind of company, let us say I'm having 100 openings. Where is 100 openings and where is the, this 10 to 12 lakhs type of a job? There is no there is no you know comparison. The, the, the supply is way higher than the demand. Right? That's why if you see it, majority of you, you don't get a job by the end of your campus, or even if you get it, you will not definitely get the core job. That's why you come here and you are, you know, skilling yourself. Some of you may be working professional who joining this particular workshop or this particular course to upskill yourself and get into the core job. Am I right? So the buyer-seller phenomenon, if you see, right, the buyer today, the companies are having a lot of choices. They have 12 lakhs people to choose from for their, let us say, 100 openings, right? So the other part is not only about supply, when you're, when you're all selling, right? What is the important thing? Assuming that you are a buyer, assuming that you are a buyer, you are a company, right? What, and how do you make a decision? So many freshers are coming to me, right? Like are, so many phone companies are there with me who are all coming and telling I'm having a mobile phone, I'm having a mobile phone, et cetera, et cetera, right? And how do you decide which mobile phone to buy? Assuming that you are a buyer, how do you buy a mobile phone or connect with the companies and say, how do you hire a person and what do you look for? Can I get some answer? In a buyer-seller example itself, can I either consider the phone example or recruitment company examples? Doesn't matter. But give me what do you look for? Okay. Harsh is telling specs. Yes, look at the specification. And um, Munir is telling skills. And uh, Ankit is telling those have better quality, right? Again, the quality has got very close connection with the skills. Because if you look at, right, it's not that you guys did not get a core job. Doesn't mean your quality is bad, right? I would say quality is because of the skills that what you learn, right? Okay. So specification, best products, specs and cost, right? Phone brand, specifications, skills. And somebody is using the word brand, okay? okay. Brand, attitude, brand, right? With specification, etc. Cost, easy and efficient, etc. right? Can you tell me what is a brand? The moment you hear the word brand, let's say for example in the phone example itself right what is the brand basically name okay valuable trust right when you use that particular you know recognition right so when you use a particular name right there is a image that comes in your into your mind for example i use the word apple okay? or i use the word google right what comes to your mind okay you have some kind of a impression you all of you have right Okay, security, premium, popularity, a lot of you are telling many answers, right? So everything is a brand. You know, the, this is a these are the factors depending on the brand, depending on the features, cost, you make a decision. In the same way, the recruiter or the person who is going to recruit you is going to consider all these aspects. One, your specification is nothing but your resume. Okay. Unfortunately, what has happened is when you look at these larger set of people, 10 to 12 lakh set of people who are passing out of engineering college every year. When they see your resume, or even if you see a resume when you are joining Emergy and compare the students, you know, with all the other resumes, it pretty much looks the same. There's hardly any change. Even I see people, two friends are there, they use the same template, everything is same. College is same, percentage is similar, subject is same, right? There is hardly imagine two two companies are selling you mobile phones, right? You see the specification, you see the cost, you see the you know features, they look the same. Okay, and, and not only same, it doesn't look attractive at all to me. It is not at all impressive. Somebody told, you know, brand premium, I'm not seeing anything. Imagine you are writing your specification in a, in a, in a note paper like this. You're not even printing. You're coming and telling me, buy. I keep on reading and say, what is this? It's not at all impressive to me, right? 
so you need to make your profile impressive you need to make it compelling for the buyer that the company to buy and not only that you need to create some kind of a demand saying that hey if i don't hire this guy he may go to some other company right so that happens because of two major reasons one some of you have already told the skill building that you make in 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 emergency in terms of assignments project etc which we'll talk about it and equally important is how do you represent in a resume right often i see many good students they won't write or they don't project them properly they have done all the project but they will not write the project in resume itself no pro no no use no suppose i am selling this phone i am not telling i am not telling what is the amount of ram and what is the amount of storage in this phone right then what's the point and as a as a user how do i figure it out what is the ram size and the, how, what is the storage size right so then they are not making the resume impressive so these are all the aspects we need to keep in mind right in summary what i am telling is consider it's a same buyer seller example all of you are trying to sell your skills to the company and company is trying to buy you and all of you are competing for the same job even if you are emerging and some of you may be classmates some of you may be friends right beforehand or you came to emerge and you became good friends right all combinations are there but when you are looking for a job when you are applying for the job right for example pragya siddhar sonal sanket you know robin ankit all are there but when you apply for the companies please note you are competing for the same job you may be good friends but you are competitors for the same job isn't it don't you agree with me all of you are competing right of course we all want we all want all of you to win right that's there but we are all competing against each other now when you are competing with each other and you are all selling your own phone to me how do i differentiate how do i see that which is good everybody is telling i am this i am this i am this right so that is where projecting yourself is also very important okay how do you project yourself you know one of the key aspect to project yourself before even you go to the interview because the company see you in person later right when when you go for a interview like this these days all interviews are happening online the interviewer will come and see you only when they see you face to face only they'll be able to see oh siddharth looks like this prathamesh looks like this no no i don't even know that right because you are i'm not seeing your faces right when i see you only i'll come to know but before even i see you i see your resume because i go through and i open up in in my uh, you know my computer and i go through that right when i go through that let us say for example i am i got 10 resumes right i you know 10 of you in this chat has sent me the resume and i'm opening up and looking into each resume ashme i am the hiring company person how much time do you think i'll spend to go through the resume and decide whether i should call the person for an interview or not how much time i'll spend any guesses in each resume 10 people have sent me resume in each resume how much time i will spend so siddhant is telling 1 minute 1 to 2 minute 20 seconds right 1 to 2 minutes 4 to 5 minutes 1 minute 2 to 3 minute to 30 seconds right 1 minute 2 minutes 5 minutes max 15 seconds 30 seconds right so i would say based on my experience it is actually around 45 seconds within 45 seconds i make an impression imagine right you are like an advertisement chick right you see right in when you are opening up your instagram right what is the maximum duration of instagram reel you guys should you should you, should, you guys should educate me i am reasonably new to instagram i was a facebook my you know family and my colleagues have pushed me into instagram now so i am starting reel right what is the you know duration of a reel right people are telling 10 15 seconds 59 seconds 10 seconds less than 30 15 or 30 right 45 seconds right so assuming you are making a reel right and you see right some of the reels go viral okay these days i think uh, uh, you know whenever uh, there is a dance sequence right there was a this uh, what is that pushpa there are a lot of dialogues right uh, and then there is some dance sequence by uh, you know uh, rashmika and then you know, people are telling badam badam right and then now i think it is uh, uh, recently it is uh, arabic kut right uh, you know puja hegde came and uh, that did some dance sequence and then say hey, why don't you do the dance sequence right everybody is creating the uh you know dancing dancing sequence right and before that the what is that the not a not right two legs leg sequence right rrr movie right a lot of a uh, uh, lot of those things are happening but the point i'm trying to uh, drive here is that imagine how much time you are spending in a reel right you are seeing like you are always taka 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 you are doing right within 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 that 
30 seconds, 45 seconds, that reel has to be interesting for you. Otherwise, you'll just skip. Imagine, right? The same thing happens to you, to the interviewer or the company where you are spending. Assuming that your resume is your reel. I'm telling you an example so that you can relate to it easily. Okay? Because I don't think any of you. Okay, let me ask you another interesting question, right? Are you in Facebook or, or are you in Instagram? I think it must be an obvious question, but still I'll ask. Okay. Both. Okay. Both. Or in which one you are active? Okay, let me ask you that question. In, uh, are you active in Facebook or are you active in uh, Insta? Anyways, it's the same company, right? Facebook, Meta, right? Okay, you see, right? Unanimously, Instagram wins, right? Okay. So that's why I'm telling an example. Assuming, oh, somebody is saying, you know, LinkedIn says, okay, great. Okay. I'm telling you, Instagram, if you if you look at right and munir is telling sir i in, uninstall because it's affecting me study because it's addictive right once you get into that reel and you sit right taka, 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 you keep on doing right and what they're also smart right they will keep on feeding the reels which matches your interest and the moment you watch one reel they, they'll push the related reels right so that's so you know even the feed is similar to that anyways that's a different science altogether the point i'm trying to drive here is assuming that your resume is your reel okay 45 seconds, 30 seconds, how do you make it impressive? Like that, whatever your Sami Sami or Badam Badam or your, you know, Arabic Kut, right? How are you going to make it impressive? That's the game. And what you end up writing majority of the times, same thing. Okay, same data, same information. Where when you open, not at all impressive. Right, I just close and move on. So the resume, let me complete in few points and we'll get into the discussion now. One, your resume is your marketing document it helps you to build a brand and brand one of the way in which you, we talk about brand is how do you differentiate yourself from others that's what we call brand right how do you differentiate here what is the in our context how are you differentiating with 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 another batchmate of you right how do you differentiate from your friend who is studying and how you are going to differentiate from some online student who is sitting from west bengal and studying right that's why every meeting I asked, hey, where are you joining from, right? Some students say West Bengal, some students say Nagpur, some students say Chennai, some students say Kerala. You don't even know their face, but you are competing against them, right? How are you going to uniquely position yourself too? Third and most important thing, your interviewers are going to look at your resume like your reels. Okay? Somebody said five minutes and all, right? Have you ever watched a five-minute reel? And Facebook also, say Instagram is also, you know, smart okay they want quick very quickly you know they want and you know recently uh, i'm learning right uh, this uh, food delivery or what the grocery delivery is going through tremendous changes for example there's a company uh, you know zepto they say 10 minutes grocery delivery right and now everybody is coming you no know? big basket says big basket now within 10 minutes will deliver right? everything we want fast 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 right that's what happens right everything wants to quickly see and then decide on whether to shortlist you or not shortlist you. so it's a very important activity okay uh you know sandeep is telling you you did any reels or no i have not done okay i am learning instagram as i told right my team is forcing me to learn instagram my family is forcing me to see instagram hopefully i'll do one <laughs> okay so no but i have not done any reels so far okay so uh, your resume is like your reel how to make it impressive okay are you getting an idea but don't you know don't you know some people what did they do it in urgent to yesterday you see right the location uh, location team are giving the feedback location is telling send the resume right aaj raat ko baith ke bana raha he's typing tomorrow oh, location are sending hey, anyways old copies there you no know, send it okay so that's not okay that means they were off the battle you lost there only and people wonder you how i am not getting shortlisted see all want qualcomm job okay all want a microchip job everybody wants uh, you know uh, what do you call your uh, you know um, you know mavenir job nxp job all branded job you want but you are not ready to write a impressive resume which is not okay okay see see sonal is selling qualcomm right everybody wants i tell my analogy is become very simple right okay everybody wants to marry deepika padukone right qualcomm only no compromise right but ranveer singh to bano right <laughs> build an impressive profile right so that's what the game is all about, right? So hope you are able to connect it. Are you, you know, the point of this section, initial 20, 10, 15 minutes, I, you know, I trade the importance of writing an impressive resume. That is very, very important. Often we take it as a last minute activity or send an older version 
or some of the students send the resume which they didn't call it that's what lokesh was telling feedback right you don't even put emergency uh, uh, you know uh, it's something like this i'm asking hey can you send me this one plus uh, phone uh, specification and you are giving me nokia 3310 specification right okay that's what is the issue so that's the way you are sending me the college uh, you know resume which is of no use to me i am living in a world of you know one plus and i am living in a world of iphone right they are giving me a no three no care 3310 imagine the first ever cell phone we used with the snake game and all if you send that phone what is the use for me right so please take this it's a very important activity i need to spend lot of time in doing it it will not happen just by sitting half an hour one hour you will not be able to write okay so today session we will go through that how not to write a resume okay theek hai so let me uh, open my notepad um and then we will be able to start the further discussion okay uh so typically we do in our sessions so let me save it total increase the hope you are able to read it if you want i'll zoom it a little bit more the question is right um what would you put in your resume now based on your knowledge can you tell me what and all you need to write in your resume first i'll write then we'll go over one by one there are already no deepika looking for katrina long long fort say sandeep <laughs> then virat kohli and ashish nehra oh, that picture came up right earlier i used to run some quizzes right especially during the pandemic time right peak wave the first wave and all right so, so students are really worried so i added some of those uh, pictures to make it little interesting for them right tough times when you see those pictures right anyway so deepika is telling uh, education so let me write one by one and uh, we'll take it up so one by one is telling i'm telling like people are telling education uh, people are telling you know you know skills then uh, projects then contact details then uh, name yeah i think that should come in the top name and if you have any work experience we'll put it work experience if any and uh, some of them are telling about myself or i will say career objective uh, then some of them are telling something like you know so i'll say it's in sort of skills i'll say technical skills then extra curricular activities okay and uh, internships any done achievements you have done any uh i uh -huh. i was looking for the thanks manoj for bringing in along with extra curricular activities we also write about hobbies and we write about certifications certifications and then in the personal side you write you no know, languages known right um and then any rewards and awards yeah so achievements or you know awards Uh, anything significant internships uh, implant trainings okay and then address yeah contact details will put everything uh, co curricular summary ha huh, some of them are telling it along with name you also give a photo uh, about myself and then what else volunteering experience yeah any type of extra curricular activities come right volunteering etc and there's a question from sandeep Sorry, if work experience is five months, is it worth to put in resume? Just hold on, Sandeep. I'll come to that. Right? Okay. Contact details. Anything else, guys? Uh, declaration. Yes. So people are telling declaration. Okay. And uh, technical hobbies. Are you? I don't know what you mean by technical hobbies. Any IDs, for example, people will put uh, something like this. Uh, IDs, for example, LinkedIn ID. Um, yeah any online courses i'll just say you know along with technical stages right courses learned for example any online 
and uh, vivek is telling along with linkedin id he will also put a github profile id uh, dream destination i don't know what you mean by ajay so i'll just consider as a career objective only uh, declaration linkedin address rewards achievements huh? here you can also say in the achievements you can also mention publications any paper publications you've done any kind of an accomplishment you've done in you know, as a part of your career okay fair enough research gate i don't know what you mean by research any research gate any publications yeah anything you've done this is what you are pretty much you know dream designation okay dream designation is linked like what is your dream designation okay so you'll say dream designation okay this is what you are pretty much you are going to mention okay and some of them will you know change this one little bit here and there but largely this is what you know you are writing your resume okay? but if you look into your resume today right assuming that you are not doing the immersive course okay? assuming that you are not doing immersive course how many pages you have written so far how many pages of resume you have written two pages okay one page two page two page three one to two max two okay two pages one page okay all right so one to two page you write okay and i need a honest answer now when you're writing that two page did you face a difficulty again i need an honest answer yes or no right did you face a difficulty as you're writing thinking that what to fill in the two pages right i think some of some of you are getting getting the question already right are usme bharu kya main ke do page right okay sai shashank a lot of smile is coming out right some confusion yes we don't have to fill uh, you know thought like writing a novel of course yes uh, you know yes 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 <laughs> saying ruknudin right okay uh, interior page difficulty of two pages aha ha says ajay pratham is right so majority of the of you face issue of so even two pages what would you write two pages right because even if you take a section like project and i am assuming that you are not emerge student before coming to emerge like pre emerge right then only you are coming to project right before even you let us talk about project right project also how do you write suppose you done a finally a project and then there are lot of hangama going on finally project why the project should have some keyword what is the keyword the final year project should have can i get some answers your project if you go and present a title to your to title to your title project title right if you're going and projecting your title to your project guide you will see you will project he wants some words what are the keywords he wanted to know yeah sec like, what is the keyword important they wanted to see in your project title these days performance important technology we are using right okay the tech so people and what is the scenario right if you look at your majority of the project title i don't understand only okay majority of project title if i say i'll get scared okay well, you know it's it will like you know uh, automated uh, iot solution with the help of machine learning applying artificial intelligence using a high end you know vlsi design chip with an android application all possible titles and and you are finally project how do you do good number of you or decent number of you okay go to project center buy the project and submit your college yes sir no how many of you purchase your project keep your hand in heart and tell me did you purchase your project to go to project center okay yeah some of them are telling me me right and when you go to the project center uske paas taiyar rehta list uh which college uh, abc college which department ha huh? chalo le lo right uske paas saman taiyar rehta and you, he, he, gives, he gives everything he gives the source code he gives the demo he gives the ppt right and you come back and you present that project to your uh, you know your uh, teacher presentation what question answer everything some of them you did on your own i'm happy i'm not i don't want to discourage you i'm telling you a good number of you right okay ankush prajwal really appreciate you have done that but some of you buy they go and did it and then you get good marks you know and then you are done and after that you today if i ask many of you what exactly is your final year project title even title we don't remember right so karke 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 somehow you fill two pages okay. 
so that's the reason i tell when you when you go through section by section right how what and all you are talking about right these resumes are not at all impressive okay i want to buy a you know i am in the world of one plus and iphones you are selling me nokia 3310 i will not and when we wonder are yaar okay why i am not getting an interview call or even if i interview call you know why i am not getting selected right that's what is it right so as you are building your skill in emergency which is the thing which we do in terms of your assignment and project you need to represent it in a very impressive way in your resume okay. all right so let us get into section by section okay so your name obvious right your first name uh, first name and last name okay you can write it that should be good enough okay that is fairly straight forward nothing no confusion yes in any resume you should have your first name and last name now do you need a photo in your resume your opinion please okay people are your opinion should you stick your photo in your resume yes no yes yes some are tell i'm not required okay yes sir yes sir okay no no not compulsory no right not required optional some of them are telling yes some of them are telling no right yes but not necessary okay so take it from me you are attending emergencies uh, you know resume preparation workshop no photo dalne ki koi zarurat nahi okay and some of them will go and you you need photo when you go to matrimony that's a different <laughs> different game right that is a different workshop we'll do if you want right how to make yourself impressive in your matrimony but you are not applying for matrimony you are applying for a job and the photo if they need they'll take it later okay photo aapko matrimony chahiye aap jao go and tell a studio fellow i i want to get married wo pura aapko design design photo leke dega you chipkao right you are not applying for matrimony right so please for god sake take the photo from resume no need in fact i'll show you the template right nothing will and some of them will wear a tie and all right tie wear and all as if they are applying for a appearing for a army job right they'll take a photograph strictly no no need to you know um, you know Uh, what do you call it? attach a photograph no remove it if you have it remove it then people are telling ids right when you talk about ids there are some things which are important when it comes to ids yes for example email id phone number this is like yes of course right okay. and even when you talk about email id and phone number please ensure your email id and phone number are proper when you say proper aajkal ever since this multi sim concept came right people have one airtel number one jio number one whatsapp number right one uh, evening number one morning number right we our placement team face lot of difficulty so have one number which is reachable okay don't keep on change somebody is having this habit of changing the phone number and changing the sim right don't do that even email ids right your email id should look professional Okay. i think some of you i have seen some of the email ids like this for example right some student uh, likes like this right for example i'm having praveen so praveen will have create an id like this praveen right the boss 99@gmail.com okay then renuka writes something like this renuka okay renuka the princess right at gmail.com okay and manoj is writing like this manoj He's writing like the tiger manoj okay okay gmail.com then prajwal is writing time pass prajwal prajwal at gmail.com okay so for god sake okay please don't write create such email address if you created go and keep in instagram go and keep in your you know uh, do that right because uh, you know some of them we we'll write a very cryptic email address and some of them will write a email like this for example i my rami is raj right he will write an email like this raj like this right right at gmail.com right imagine imagine somebody need to send you an email oh da ke every letter you need to talk and you know uh, you know then here you know there is one bargav is telling an example right dad's little, dad little princess at gmail.com right okay and then shubham uh, maharana is telling uh shubham mahar maharana d d d d g g i don't know what it is right okay so pata nahi okay so mail me at gmail.com yeah that's also okay keep it simple okay 
okay so funny today session enjoying and learning also says on sonal more right okay so uh, in case if you created funny email ids keep it for your instagram okay where you can do whatever the social media uh, thing what okay pratamesh <laughs> is writing <laughs> give me give me the job at gmail.com right so one student uh, has written something like you know uh, you know unhandle exception at gmail.com that was his email id right okay so you know prakash uh, you know uh, praka praka mas okay so he's like a mas hero right so my request is keep it simple right but yeah it's it, sometimes it may be little too hard to change you know because you would have given this email in n number of places don't change it immediately but please ensure if you're not already done make an email id which looks professional okay you know and then some of them will be some some fan of some uh, you know uh, uh, some hero for example uh, people will, will will write you know for example uh, there is a there is a hero by you know ajit kumar for people call him tale so they'll write tale prakash at gmail.com right okay so again sonu is telling unfit <laughs> unfit engineer at gmail.com right you guys are giving me more enlightenment today right so email id and phone number also phone number bhagwan sake right because whenever whenever uh, team members call me right uh, your phone will be not reachable then they say oh that no that is i am i that is my old sim sir call me in this so then you call that number earlier i used to have a lot of trouble then you will store some number let us say sonu is selling i'll say sonu student right then you call switch off then they will call me back say sir in that sim no sir my charge got over okay uh, you in in case if you want to call me call this number this is my friend's number so i'll say sonu student friend sim then suddenly i get a call from my other number he says sir sir this is my geo sim sir please store so so i'll say sonu student geo sim right imagine yaar yeah, our placement team will have you know nightmare in storing your phone numbers we fashionately change you know your rate plan aage usko fake ho isko dekho are you you know you wanted to probably run away from your old friends you change the sim right whatever drama you do ensure right i tell people right one is good in many ways one proper email id one proper phone number right one wife one car one house one kid life is peaceful okay the more you have the more trouble you have okay so so i can tell some some of my some experience also right so please ensure that you have proper email id and proper phone number and use it regularly okay so especially our team has you know one company oh, that is a different story right we'll talk about it later okay so one is always beautiful right okay so the at least from emergency side that's the reason we tell chase one company right one job at a time don't you know um try multiple jobs are you getting my inputs no photo email id and phone number should be proper are you getting guys you may be, you may be thinking sir what am i talking about resume preparation workshop i thought you will you know come from uh, you know mars and will give some you know jadu so guys zup 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 right your resume will look super no people do silly mistakes and believe me you avoid these mistakes you will crack a premium job you know students ask me right? so those students know that uh, some students oh wala na wo 14.5 ladka wo kya kiya wo kuch nahi kiya ye yahi kiya dang se kiya he's done this thing only properly right he didn't do you know two hands and you know four legs or something like that right okay so please ensure that you know you guys don't do anything uh, silly right okay can we make it email id at ka715 it looks like a name board <laughs> gadi number you know in if you see karnataka we have a ka right as a, as a gadi number try to make it look uh, professional don't you know immediately do this because our team has already stored your phone number uh, and email it don't go and change tomorrow tomorrow placement team should not get 50 email then they'll beat me sir you go and tell disha workshop they're all changing my email id so don't do that but i'm telling you to think but at least phone number you immediately change if if it is not proper one right so give a phone number where you are reachable don't have four sims and different and one for whatsapp and one for regular call and all okay makes sense are you getting me photo email and phone very simple makes lot of sense but many students do this mistake okay uh, okay got it sir okay uh, sonal is telling can we use other uh, gmail as ready mail it's fine it's not necessary that gmail is there right okay uh, because it is it gmail came and revolutionized you know people for example we i still used to have my yahoo id ready for id anything is fine as long as it looks professional the mail is working it's absolutely fine okay theek hai shall we move to the next section we'll move to the next section now now come to the career objective okay we have this section called career objective what should you write in a career objective right 
again people uh, write career objective in different ways that also many of them will will not know how to write what they will do they'll go to google and then search how to write career objective for a uh, career objective for a uh, student right so it gives him so many examples copy paste okay. don't do that or your friend gives you a resume right and you copy paste your friend's goal and career objective not okay what is career objective career objective is something what you want to achieve in your career okay and that can be taught in a very simple way don't need to complicate you know uh, one thing other you know we'll talk in the extracurricular activity and all right the team with the, the company which want you to recruit you they are looking for simple information but we complicate and people think i want to uh, make my objective look very high fi okay by using all uh, what do you call high fi vocabulary and uh, you know english words right okay whenever we think about uh, vocabulary and uh, english words who comes into our mind who is most famous for using high fi english words right munir is telling right sashi tharoor right okay <laughs> right so don't write a resume where is only sashi tharoor can understand right shakespeare is telling sashi tharoor in shakespeare right we are not going to write like this we are applying for a what do you call a engineer position we are not applying for uh, you know journalist position we are not uh, applying for a what do you call a, an author or a you know linguistic uh, poet position we are applying for engineer position so keep your objective very simple and easy to understand okay it can be as simple as that let me write a couple of them and show you right okay we'll talk about that. i think there's a question about linkedin also i'll come to that shortly okay so you can like this even for that matter your deem designation right okay we can keep it something like this okay um let me write here something like this right um to build a career in core industry by working on latest embedded systems technology this can be one thing right or another thing can be something like this to grow to contribute contribute to the success of the organization and grow my career as an embedded engineer right you see here very simple one line or two line okay engineer no need to complicate don't need to write sashitaru very simple one line what do you think your career should be right? just think for some time that's why i tell right resume building takes a lot of time often we don't pay attention we just copy paste uh, from friend and, and then we think that you know our uh, is something like you are copying pasting your competitors uh, you know product specification okay one plus copy paste uh, one plus brochure i'm copy paste i'm selling it in my brand right will it work it will not work so please note your objective need to be written very simple one or two lines very simple english don't complicate okay one now going back to ids right we talked about linkedin id and gmail id sorry github right okay. linkedin id you include provided you return something there some people chumma give linkedin id if i click there and see right nothing will be there whatever is there you know just for the sake of it, it is something like you know i am buying a water bottle what is the use of water bottle i need to fill water and drink right as simple as that if i write a linkedin profile right there should be some information some description about my profile one okay same thing on the contrary i strongly recommend you i strongly recommend you all of you to go and create a github id do you know what is a github id any answers what is github okay vivek is telling yes and uh, apsal uh, siddharth are telling no pravin is telling no okay so open source project no okay no if you see right 90 percent of them are telling you know no right ss is telling version control tool then uh, dhaneshwari is telling yes sir okay do you know what is the use of github any idea what is the use of github yeah sanjit is telling it's a code repository then ss is telling version control tool both are correct answers right it is a code repository and a, uh, what do you call you know version control tool and jatin is also correct where it helps you to share the files with others right that is also correct right there are multiple you know um, reasons or multiple benefits of uh, using github okay 
if you do not know and it is used for collaborative development etc that's a different ball game but as far as you are concerned right what i would suggest you to do is go to github right okay and create an id for yourself and right? let me go here search for github okay go here if you see here right you can very well create a repository of your own okay and what you can do along with creating the repositories you create folders okay and then keep your uh, what do you call your um, assignments and projects what you are doing in emergency you keep it there it is it will be really really good okay okay if you may underestimate it now it's very powerful okay all the projects what you are doing right and if possible right github gives two two things one is it gives you a um, what do you call a code repository another one it also gives you to build a profile if you are even if you are reasonably good with uh, uh, some of the web programming or you know right some kind of a front end drag and drop you can build a wonderful portfolio also okay have you heard about github portfolio anybody heard code and uh, you know this thing you would have heard have you heard about github portfolio yes no no right okay let me show you a couple of examples right so you will be able to relate to it so let me go to google so if you see this for example he is my own nephew so last year he especially during the pandemic time you know he was with me so we used to discuss a lot and uh, he eventually uh, you know created this particular profile right he of course he works as a uh, ai engineer ai and robotics engineer he is more from a computer science background and uh, is working for a startup in bangalore right so this is if you can see right it is like you know github.io if you go to github.io it gives this type of templates where you can represent the complete uh, information whatever we discuss over so we'll further discuss it's something like a your online resume you can build right you can talk about qualification your technical if you see it's pretty much this looks like a you know this like more of a uh, you know an ai stack you know we'll talk about the embedded skills right this is more of an ai ai skills and some web skills that's what he is interested in and you can see right as we discussed right lot of project in fact if you see this template this template also the way it is represented is emergency template only so he is built and by doing this he was able to get a very good uh, you know career transition into machine learning or ai job right you know this is this way you can keep on putting this one okay and this is like more of a portfolio where you can create a uh, profile on your own this is like a mini resume your online resume you know require little bit of online skills just look out for some tutorials in uh, you know youtube you should be able to build okay on the other hand this is like your uh, github profile if you see here github.com uh, slash you know his name this is like github profile you can see here this is where the source code is kept for example if you go to repositories right you can see right a lot of uh, such uh, repositories are kept here right can see right it's more of a ai specific thing image classification swift learning template matching you know some uh, you know api something something you know objective c learning whatever is you know written some of the hacker rank vectorization quite a lot of things right it's like your repository and if you click on here let us say let's click, click, click here you can go here right you can see right the files are there read me right the complete repository is there right so what i would suggest is for students anyways you are going through a lot in emergency in terms of your assignments your projects go and build a github portfolio site and also a github repository this itself is a very good exercise and I, you know later you will thank me for this if you do this you will not realize the value now later when 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 sometime back when you remember me right okay hopefully you will right? so you'll remember me for this particular input right it, it is going to come with you like how you carry your ig instagram profile right as an engineer you should carry your github profile unfortunately such tools were not available in 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 during my you know college days or when i was in my entry level of my career but these wonderful tools are available and majority of the features are for free you don't need to pay a penny there is a paid version of git is also available for some of you told about you know collaboration and things like that right for that you can use otherwise please go ahead and build a pro, you know build a portfolio and i would strongly recommend more than anything else youtube has become a wonderful resource how many of you agree with me youtube has become a wonderful resource than any online uh, website that you can think of be it udemy coursera you know you know keep it aside okay 
and i am i am fallen in completely you know in love with youtube anything because i refer to broad variety of topics sometime i refer to some inspiration sometime i refer to some tech sometime i refer to something in business or some unique issues my team is facing for anything you know youtube has become a wonderful resource one is it's not only it's free the information that is available there is the latest information you know even if you take a paid udemy course or any course right sometimes you feel it is little old right you know very simple simple things right you just do a youtube it has become so just go youtube say you know uh, search for building a github profile or setting up a you know github portfolio site you'll find tons of tutorials i'm sure this itself is a good exercise it itself take at least a week or two to build a good portfolio and later you will thank me for this okay okay, uh, okay. Are you getting? Can you start thinking about building a Git GitHub profile? All of you, can I get some response? Okay, take it as an assignment. Take it as a challenge. Okay. I'm sure you would love it. Okay, the learning, the portfolio, and you yourself feel good. Hey, I know so many things. Okay, from the time where I asked my initial rate, are two page me me kya baro resume right? From there you will you will completely shift. You know, will uh, as you build more project in the emergency right. You will completely, you know, get into, uh, you get into a different league altogether. Okay, and when you do this, you are, you know, you are putting yourself in a very high plane. Okay, okay, please do that. Okay, ah, uh, GitHub portfolio is a website which I showed, right, Sandeep? So Git, this is like a GitHub profile. The GitHub profile is nothing but it is more of a code repository, right? This is like a, your thing, right? This GitHub.io is a portfolio. Portfolio is nothing but just a, just a website or mini resume. This is what I call portfolio, which you can build it in GitHub.io. Right. If you look at github.com slash your profile, is a GitHub profile. This is portfolio, this is profile. Okay. Hope it's clear, Sandeep. Okay. So please do that. And you know, my nephew is not very this thing, he's just I think 2019 pass out. Okay. Uh, he's sincerely worked on it and he's able to uh, transition his uh, career very well, you know. And um, he need to do a lot on his own, but you guys don't need to worry, right? You're already doing course with us. You can wonderfully project it on your own right linkedin profile also if you have something to write you write otherwise don't need to write is it fine photo no linkedin and github are you getting an idea and you got an idea about career designation etc okay can you move to the next section okay all right kundal sonal okay now coming to education um it is uh, very simple to put right uh, put your education in a reverse chronological order they say right put your latest degree on the top and then you put your uh, you know next one next one for example if you are an m tech graduate right so put your you know m tech first assuming you are an m tech right second you put your b tech then you put your let us say class class 12. then you put your class okay okay put and along with that Okay, I tell students, please pay attention to this, right? M Tech, you specify your branch. For example, you've done an M, M, M Tech in VLSI and embedded systems. Put your branch name here. Later, anyways, I'll show you the template also. Okay. Uh, and then, comma, put the university name because sometimes I found, you know, uh, college names have become long, you know, long made. Some may say RRVV, JJE, Engineering College. And if you expand, right, I can't even read. Right. Okay. Uh, where should I put uh, emergency says because just hold on because tomorrow in the template I'll show you how to refer. In fact, your emergency should be in the top. I'll talk about it later. Okay. So I'm just dissecting one by one section. Right. Okay. You can write like this, uh, and then you can put the university name. For example, if you're from Karnataka, you'll say VTU. You know, and and then you specify your percentage or CGPA. Let us say, for example, I scored uh, seven point four CGPA, and then and then specify very important which year you started and which year you ended let us say 2020 uh, 2020 2022 okay so you got the temp uh, thing right your degree name or post graduation name your branch your university your percentage or cgpa and then start year and end year okay here two aspects are very important one is your percentage and cgpa there's a lot of panchayat here. People, students come and ask me, sir, should I put in percentage or should I put it in CGPA? 
or should I calculate one to eight semester or should I calculate seven to eight semester, right? And, uh, you know, uh, our second year onwards. The reason being, um, every university in India, I don't know for what reason, they have their own evaluation mechanisms. Do you agree with me, guys? Can you put in the window how your university is calculating your percentage? Do you agree? Every university have got their own way of calculation, right? And then how your university is calculating? Many of you are saying yes. Aggregate of eight semesters is Manoj, okay? And then um, CGPA 0 0.75 into 10 says yes. yes. Multiplying with 9.5, okay? One uh, only last year is considered says Dayanand, right? Uh, 6.5 to 0.5 into 10, 8.5 into 10, right? You see, right? All I don't know. I really don't know why they need to do this. Okay, why can't you have one particular, you know, mechanism uh, of doing things, right? Okay, and again, um, many of you have this question. In fact, some of you asked in my previous sessions also, is that should I represent my academic credential in percentage or CGPA? I'm sure many of you will have this confusion, right? Can I get some answers? Okay. Should I represent percentage or should I represent in per percentage, right? And there's one more confusion is there. When you see an emergency application, emergency application, they say um, 65%, right? But uh, if I convert my CGP into percentage, it is less than that. I'm getting, let us say, 62. Should I apply or not? Okay. I'm. I, do, you get, do you have all these confusions? Can I get some answers? Okay, I think good number of you are having the same confusion. So let me clarify the panchayat. This is one big panchayat. Every Disha workshop I clarify, right? I don't know as it all. I, I sincerely hope all the universities come with some unified mechanism. I don't know why, you know, AK, AK University. So first and foremost, okay. whatever there in your certificate, whatever there in your certificate, you mention that. Okay. You don't apply your own formula. You don't invent anything new. If your university has calculated seven to eight, you only specify that in your PDCD, in your pre, you know, in your, you know, in your uh, provisional degree certificate, whatever the CGPA percentage is mentioned, that is a thing. How they calculated? Do they taken from one to seven, seven to eight, you know, two to eight? Whatever is a um, calculation, leave it to the university. Let us not break our head. Whatever is there in your PDC, mention one. Okay. Second thing, again, the CGPA, some university given CGPA, some will give in percentage. But let us make it simple for you guys, okay, as far as the placement is concerned, right? How we work, right? Okay, how it works is, it is not correct, I know, but this is how Emergy works, right? You don't need to bother. And we want to give this benefit to a student, right? As far as Emergy is concerned, 6.5 CGPA is equal to 65 percentage. No need to break your head. Okay, if a company is asking 65% and above can apply, if a CGPA is 6.5, I know if you convert it, it will go less than 65, but don't bother, go on and apply. Because of this, we will not blacklist you and all, don't worry. Okay, we will not stamp you saying that, oh, you fudged your data and all. No, you're not going to do that. Okay, similarly, if you are, a, if they, if they come, if you are, let us say, 7.1 CGPA and, you know, is equal to, okay, 71 percentage. Okay. I know the CGPA guys will be happy with this. Okay. But is it clear? 6.98 is equal to 69.8. 6.98 is equal to CGPA equal to 69.8 percentage. Okay. Is it clear? And please note when you do this, yeah, 8.64 is equal to 86.4. That's correct. But suppose, let us say, for example, let us say this particular case, you know, Ajumal is converting this, okay. He is, con he is a 6.98. We are telling, right, you know, uh, 69.8 is the percentage required. But he sees one application like this, right. In the, in, the, in the placement application, it says like this, right. Students with 70% or above can apply. Okay. You are 69.8, but the placement application says, 70% and above can apply. If you are 69.8, don't apply. 69.8 is not equal to 70. Okay. 
So that way you may think, right? Oh, it's only 0.2 less. No, I'll apply. Then what will happen? 68% will think only 2% less. No, I'll apply. 60% guy will think only 10% less. No, I'll apply. 55% will think only 15%. No, I'll apply. Right? So please don't, you know, then we we'll lose the sanctity of the percentage itself. Right? Okay. Even if you're falling short by 0.13, sorry, 0.1, don't apply. Yes, because of the it's like a cutoff, right? If you see in engineering, your cutoff will say, okay, 90, 92.3. You would have got a 92.1. Chup chop, you came out, no? You did not go and uh, go to the government and then your admission office and say, sir, what a thoda point to it come and a thoda discount they don't know. They never give discount, right? Cutoff means cutoff. So let us respect that. And in case if you apply, if you are a, you know, if you are a 69.8, but company says 70, you apply with the 69.8, our team will remove your name anyways, one thing. But if you're 69.8, but when you're, when you're applying, you specify a 70 or 71 apply just to get shortlisted, you will be under trouble. Because later, when you're going through a you know document verification process, it will come out as 69.8, we told you, you will get blacklisted. If you're trying to cheat, if you're trying to you know apply any unwanted algorithms, right? So let me repeat three points. One, whatever is your, See, you know, college degree certificate as mentioned. If it is percentage, make it as a percentage. Whatever is there in that, you mention one. If it is CGPA, but in the percentage, they say 60, 65%, your CGPA 6.5, no problem. It will not blacklist you. No problem. Go ahead and apply. Third one, if your 70% is asked, but even after converting and whatever, you are coming 69.5 or 69.8, even 69.9, don't apply. Is it clear? Is it clear at least the CGPA percentage panjayat? Is it clear? Okay. So what should we mention? CGPA is person. Anything is okay. So whatever in your degree certificate, it is there. You don't need to convert anything. I'm just telling for your understanding. But whatever is the certificate, you put it. That's enough. But don't, you know, uh, to avoid the percentage of CGPA confusion, I'm telling you this. But whatever is there in your certificate, you mentioned that is good enough, right? And so is asking, sir, as per emergency, 86.4 but as per college um, it is 82.7 okay see i think in emergency i think sonal is bringing one more view i think in emergency to give you guys some discounts or some scholarships based on your academic performance they seek your certificate and for us we take from semester one to semester eight right and then we calculate and then say okay you know i think student who scored 70 and above that's a scholarship amount we give in your fees right i hope you're asking from that perspective sonal right and please note that has got nothing to do with your placement application. Okay. In emergency, we do it for because for the we also need to have some formula, right? Over the years, we saw every university is calculating different way. How do we calculate? We said fine, we'll take from semester one to semester eight. That is our way of calculation, only to give you scholarships. This has got nothing to do with your uh, placements. Our placement department is separate, our admission fees department is separate. They don't have any relation. Don't confuse. As we are talking here purely from the placement point of view, where whatever is there in your certificate matters. And I told about CGP and the you know, percentage. Is it clear, Sonal? Good that you raised this point. Is it clear, all of you in the in the in the call? Um okay. Uh, then Munir is telling. So in my certificate, there is no percentage nor CGP. It is total marks divided by max marks in the first class. That's it. But there is a calculation for a CGPA. So shall I put CGPA? Put, no problem. But when they ask for proof, you should be able to show. And they'll say, okay, on what basis you calculated this? Show the certificate. That should be fine. Okay. Uh, some companies ask B, B tech uh, percentage and some ask um, throughout academic percentage. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. If they ask for throughout, yeah, you need to be throughout that percentage. Okay. You need to have in you know, a throughout, like class 10, 12, you know, whatever, engineering, M tech, right? They, they, are, they look for a consistency. You need to go with it. There's no choice. Okay. And if you're not eligible, don't apply. Okay. Is it clear CGPA percentage differences? Okay. Pratamesh is asking, will the company CGPA uh, ask for CGPA percentage or they calculate with formula? See, Pratamesh, companies are very simple. Okay. They also don't want to break their head. Okay. They say whatever your college is telling, they don't have time to convert and come up with their own formula. They just verify in your resume whatever you tell. In your mark list, whatever is there, they just tally and then they, they see the in, interview performance, then they'll go ahead. Okay, they will not come up with their own formula. Okay. These are all the 
if you ask me it is an academic mess up that is there in india i don't know god only knows why they kept we have act everything right i don't know why they can't unify into one way of calculating and one way of doing things they may have their own panchayat their own politics let us not get into this okay and companies don't have time they have they will say okay fine theek hai you 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 prove you show me the proof document theek hai because i wanted to as i told right they are more concerned about your skills and can you be productive in the project from tomorrow they are worried about that they don't want to dig your history and then figure it out right they are not bothered don't worry about that okay is it clear is it making sense cgpa percentage panchayat yes no can i get some more responses okay then there is a question from jay is asking sir assuming i have two years of experience in embedded systems but my percentage is not what the company has mentioned okay so if you are experienced there are two ways to look into it one is if you are not meeting the academic percentage we can't do much but if you have a, already a valid experience in your resume i think i told in the induction itself especially if you are coming from an embedded background itself and you have valid experience please reach out to our placement team with your updated resume which we are going to discuss today and tomorrow right what we can also check is that can we route your profile straight away as a lateral profile because see almost all the companies which are hiring from us they also have a senior level position right with your two years of embedded experience plus our embedded exp course experience can we directly push you not through the fresher channel can we directly push you to the lateral channel where they can directly interview take you for interview we can check you that no problem so please make but please ensure all the projects are done na right? emergency projects then we can tell hey this is a student who is having two year experience and he is also working can you consider he he him or her as a lateral they do consider okay is that clear jai jai chotalia Ch 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 okay got it yeah thanks jai thanks for the confirmation and there is a question from shubham uh, maha maharana my uh, degree c C, C, cpa is 8.5 and, and 76.84 which one should i go for you go for anything okay if you wanted or mention higher 8.58 cgp you maintain no problem okay any one you maintain no problem uh sandeep is selling sir in degree certificate only cgpa mentioned for percentage separate certificate is there so oh, what to do you this universities make a mess out of our life yeah okay <laughs> so whichever is higher you take i think similar to what shubham is telling right okay whichever is higher you take okay. go with it no issues okay. uh then vivek is telling can you show provisional certificate if i still have to wait some time to apply for a final degree certificate yes you can do that okay provisional degree certificate is uh, minimal please uh, you know you can show that no problem but having said that okay, uh, students who are you know getting out of the colleges if you can get the degree certificate as soon as you can right? don't wait especially for a 2021 pass out right it's already been i think 6 8 months since you have passed out please try to get that degree certificate also as soon as possible because sometimes what happens some companies mandate along with pdc they ask right for 2022 right who will who will anyways attend another 3 month down the line no problem with them but if you are a 2020 in fact we had one case you know very unique situation where i think he was from a 2019 or 18 batch and he did not have the degree certificate under the time of joining company said no it's been 3 years where is your degree certificate and he couldn't produce and he could not join the company right so if you are from a 2021 batch please go reach out to your college or university get the proper degree certificate because you have already done it right you have already completed it please have it ready don't run only when tomorrow is company selling today you go and run you have time now please go and get the degree certificate itself okay hope that's clear okay. then there's a question from uh, praveen uh, i have hardware design experience uh, will it help me to join a company but not as a fresher uh, in embedded system yes praveen that's what i'm referring any experience that you have right okay especially something related to embedded we can check with the companies please send your updated profile with emergency projects added very important don't send your directly the same profile as it in ask us to route then we'll not have a case then we can tell okay fine praveen has come is having this background and is worked in emergency projects and here is the profile can you consider me as a lateral lateral hire can you consider me as a not as a fresher can we can do that no problem 
all the companies which are hiring from us, they all have lateral position. If I give them a lateral position, they'll be happy, right? Okay, why not? Okay, if you have that experience, but please ensure you add emerging projects as well. I hope that's clear, Praveen. Okay. Uh, then uh, Vikas is asking, do companies ask for the highest qualification uh, or do they ask for throughout? Both. It depends on the company. Some will ask for uh, the highest one, latest one, or some will ask for throughout. It depends on the company. Please watch out for the individual applications and apply. Okay. All right. Now that we discussed about CGPA and percentage uh, Panjayat, right? Now let us move on to the next important thing about the year of pass. If you see here in uh, my uh, note, whatever I written here, let me just zoom out. So if you see here, I clearly mention both start year and end year. It is very important you do that. Okay. Because in, if you remember our Q&A session, some of them said, sir, I had, uh, you know, I had some backlogs which I cleared, which means to say that I started in, you know, I did not complete my B in four years. I, you know, I took five years. Right. Similarly, recently I met one of the student, you know, she was an offline student. Uh, she met me after the induction class and she said sir after second year uh, i've taken two years of break because you know her father had a major health uh, concern right she had to quit their education for two years again she rejoined so which means they were she did her engineering in six years okay so whatever it may be mention it transparently you will start here and end here okay? don't hide because many students i see many resumes also i see they don't mention Okay. Similarly, if you've done an M Tech and you have a gap between B Tech, so why I'm talking about, right? Because companies want to see a continuity in education, okay. and there can there can be chances that you had a break. There's a chance that after tenth you had a break between your twelve due to what's on maybe the reason. And I've seen some of the students after tenth they do diploma and then again they do twelfth and again they do engineering, right? And then they do B Tech, they you know do some a different type of a job come back and then again you do the name tech, right whatever may be the permutation combination whatever it may be in all the academic uh, years right mention the start year and end year you know it's very very important because especially when you go for lateral interviews especially the managerial nature later rounds of interviews they do check and in case they find in fact it's one of the point in your interview preparation also we say in case there is a gap okay, and they ask you why there's a gap mention transparently if you had a backlog mention i had a backlog i cleared it i had a family issue i took a break for two years then i came back why you diploma and then again 12 then i realized that i need to come to i don't want to you know i somehow i was misguided i came to 12 because i want to get into the mainstream of engineering right i don't want to join as a lateral whatever it could be the reason please mention you know i tell students right not even a single you know story or single lie let me tell you right whatever it is transparently put it and they will appreciate okay don't need to cook up stories sorry right no need to cook up stories don't need to tell whatever it is and your resume should be reflecting that let us be transparent let us be honest and companies appreciate that okay companies appreciate don't think people cannot see in fact when i scan a resume this is one thing which i check right do they have education continuity right and if there is a discontinue i'll ask them why there was a there is a gap right and is that person is telling a honest answer or in that itself i can figure it out whether he's honest or not no and imagine right i can train you in linux device drivers i can tomorrow i can even train in you even more complex android uh, whatever uh, framework right i cannot train you in honesty you know it's whether you have it or you don't have it okay skill can be trained but attitude i cannot train right so especially lateral rounds in the managerial hr round they do check but i check every resume i scan i check for education continuity and i ask them the question if there is a gap and check whether the person is giving an honest answer or you no know, if they tell an honest answer some of them tell in fact recently i was interviewing you know one candidate who was you know very honest he said the one major personal issue uh, she mentioned said because of the reason I, I i took a break right fair enough okay so don't need to you know only show the uh, advertisement tell your you know reality and companies will appreciate that so there is a question uh, from Anjum and Jatin. So let's say Anjum's question. In my degree certificate, percentage is not mentioned. Only first class is mentioned. Which percentage should I consider? So not under degree certificate, we have the mark sheet, right? Your consolidated mark sheet. In that, they would have definitely mentioned percentage. So please take that, Anjum. Okay. Then Jatin is telling, sir, I have a break between my 12th and engineering. Yeah, see that? Okay. See, there is an example here. Jatin is telling. I also applied for my 12th improvement. Will it matter? It will not matter. 
so just because you took a break or just because you took an improvement okay uh, that will not be the deciding factor i will not reject you oh ye yeah, 12th improvement kiya isko reject karunga nobody will do that but they will check you are you giving a honest answer when it is been asked okay, it may look very simple if you see right hardly we discuss some three four points now but every point we need to be particular about few things right so just mention and when they ask tell the answer but this will not be a deciding factor oh you in 12th standard you took a improvement i'm hiring for embed engineer i'll reject you because of that no they will not do that but when they ask a question you should be able to answer hope that's clear jatin uh navin is telling it eighth semester mark sheet it's mentioned yeah that's what i referring to right then kumar ankit is asking sir can i get any advantage during interview as i don't have any education gap and this year i am going to complete my mtech no it may not be any advantage or disadvantage let me be very clear with you guys right okay. it is neither you know somebody is having this or that right? it is not about advantage or disadvantage it's about telling the information in a honest fashion okay what will be disadvantage what will be an advantages it is only two things skills and projects okay there is nothing else it is going to differentiate okay the deciding factor will be only that okay but you know our students come with lot of different backgrounds right career break and era pass out right starting year end year i spend more time in your btech because of those reasons only you know we mention things in a transparent manner okay um yeah and then uh, and then uh, there is one more question um okay sir yes yes finish sir i was i am currently working in it field banking pro, uh, background can i mention in the resume yes you can we'll come to that yes yes finish when they come to the template i'll say how do you mention but don't hide anything that's what i'm trying to say any type of experience anything you've done be transparent okay your your reflect your your resume is your mirror don't hide anything okay then navin kumar c is telling sir i studied eighth standard twice how do you mention no need to mention here okay no need to mention anyways they will bother about when you completed your 10th 12th and your engineering right they are not going to dig uh, you know they are not going to ask you oh, lkg where you did study right okay so in case you failed it's okay but eighth standard nobody will bother don't worry okay then we have um, mansoor is asking sir i have year gap after graduation and i have a valid reason where should i mention in my resume no need to mention mansoor i'm telling you no need to write you know below itself i took a break because of this no need to write but when they ask right my 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 input to all of you is that tell the honest answer what is the reason for the gap you know it right i don't want you to tell it now you know the reason whatever it is tell honest answer don't need to cook stories don't need to tell all the cock and bull kate you know all uh, round about story this happened real answer simple way put it across enough hope it's clear okay uh, ankuj is telling can we put education details in table i'll be write it in simple line anything is okay that's a formatting point of it anku tomorrow i'll show you the template today you know we are digging i'm telling you how not to resume how not to write right today's focus is right that's why i'm using notepad tomorrow i'll show our template where you will you will get a ample information about the formatting okay then we have uh, rutuja she is asking sir i got passed out in 2020 But exams are held in November 2020, and then uh, search for a job and learn new things took six months. And then in June 2021, I got six month internship. So this won't be a big gap factor, right? So no need, no need to worry. Okay, year or two gap, you know. See, we have seen success stories after five years, four years, and all, right? They don't bother. But when they ask, like how you are telling me, right? Okay, tell them also, no problem. Okay. Uh, then Jay is telling, sir, as a freelancer, I done some project, but which project I can put in resume along with emergency project? We'll talk about it, Jay. I think yesterday also you asked about this question. Give me some time. Today I'm focusing what not to write. Okay. Then we have Manoj asking, sir, for example, if I attend Vipro at off campus and doesn't clear test, but for a few days the same company comes at emergency, can we attend? Yeah, you can attend. If you attended in off campus and on campus, they will not have any, you know, this thing. Go ahead and attend. Unless otherwise they find out in a database where your email ID is already there, then they don't attend, right? If you attended off campus in an emergency, you won't attend. We don't have a problem okay, from our side. Then Siddharth is asking, so is it compulsory to mention tenth and twelfth CGPA? I don't have good grades, but I managed to maintain better score in my graduation. Ah, this is a problem, right? Okay. Don't hide. Okay, you are telling, yeah, my twelfth grade doesn't look good. So what? It's a truth, no? Okay. due to what sir may be reason you are not focused in studies or you got some other personal challenge 
or you know during that time some other issue happened in your family whatever it is don't worry but don't hide in fact even uh, you know some students you may see right for example 10th they would have scored well 12th they would have got good and you know again they in in btech they would have got less or reverse would have happened like in your case 10th it was less 12th is well but engineering got better whatever it may be right you just mention whatever it is and be ready with transparent and honest answers that's what i'm trying to tell okay sir any application to write our resume no no i'll come to that sandeep i'll show our template no application simple word template i'll give you you guys use that more than enough okay then we have shubham asking sir i am adding to jatin's question as i have some case uh, which mark should i mention old 12th marks or improved 12th marks and which mark should i consider before applying the they scored uh, low therefore i reappear 12th so similar to the thing right whatever is higher you mention because you reappeared and you got a better mark right always mention the better one no problem okay and you all have also have a certificate right no issues for that okay and vivek is selling can we mention worthy contribution made to open source project yes we should mention we'll talk about it you know vivek in the subsequent sections okay uh, as we move forward okay so guys okay i know you, by now you will be realizing right in a simple thing like cgpa percentage and year of password how much confusion we have and what and all you know we do on what and all the way we mentioned the wrong way right hope those things are getting clarified right can you get some responses are you getting a clear idea it looks very simple sir kya hai ye resume workshop mein aapke aapko bolna hai kya bolke right but you know there is so much of uh, you know uh, mistakes that students do which is not okay with the companies okay and it is our responsibility to clarify as i told right more than writing a resume today we are talking how not to write a resume ye sab aap mat karo your resume will naturally will look impressive okay that's what is the final uh, take away would be right okay arun is telling sir after 12th i did ita then lateral uh, entry into diploma uh, then i did be in that also lateral entry my first quotation question is how do i consider overall percentage uh, second in uh, second is all my qualification in triple e is it consider placement i don't know your i'm not clear with your question arun maybe you are little bit jumbling up i am not able to understand maybe you can repost it once again okay then sandeep is telling sir i have done simple project ce project calendar can i mention hold on sandeep you know a lot of questions about projects freelance projects past experience projects and we'll come to that open source project and we'll come to that okay i'm taking section by section we have, we have talked about photo email id phone number career objective and now percentage cgpa year of pass out five sections we covered see the it looks very silly if we, you know we say we have been talking for almost an hour now right but my point is you see how much doubts you guys have in basic things right okay if you don't clear it you don't move forward i am quite you know happy that these things are getting cleared okay is internship compulsory no 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 compulsory not compulsory don't worry so much. no need to worry about that okay can i move forward are you getting a better idea You may be thinking, sir, ये मतलब इतना छोटे ही चीज़ में इतना माँ मानो small thing you are such an important thing, right? It is. It will make a lot of difference. I'll tell you. Okay. We think simple things only we take for granted and do mistakes. Okay. All right. So let me proceed to the next section. So the educational thing we have done, right? Year of pass out, CGPA, etc. Right. Now let us move on to the technical skills. Okay. So in technical skills, okay. assuming that you are not an emergency student okay anyways tomorrow i'll show now that you are emergency student our template will show tomorrow right assuming that you are not an emergency student what you are written as your technical skills can i can get some examples what would you write in your technical skills okay so people are telling like this let me write like this programming language so people will write like this right c if you write basic okay then people will write for example operating system people will write like this windows 10 windows 11 right then some of them will write like this right they will let you know windows windows xp then they'll say tools people will write ms office uh, excel ppt uh, some will write notepad and some will write for example paint brush paint 
brush and uh, some will write uh, for example word right okay uh, and then some of them will write you know other tools other tools other tools uh, what is that uh, pubg expertise and they may write uh, you know um, mind sweeper uh, you know expert okay um okay <laughs> right okay so i see many of you mentioning some of these things right i mean pubg and all i just added for some lighter note right calculator right okay so this is not the way you are going to write i'll come and beat you if you see some skill set like this right okay ye sab cheez aapko nahi likhna hai not if if i come and see any emergency student writing windows like come i'll i'll chase you and <laughs> i'll beat you there already right okay because thing and and see basic also what are indirectly telling right indirectly telling the interviewer see basic matlab fibonacci series odd or even number triangle maximum prime number an array uske upar mat puchho pointer and all out of syllabus for me right that's why you are indirectly telling because people yesterday asked me do you teach embedded c do you teach advanced c are baba i only know one c which is invented by you know uh, richi okay so many years back in 1970s it has been into right because we only you know we only make it light ki hum log kya karte hain pura si nahi seekhne ka right we add water dilute 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 right dilute, we by heart that's why i tell people in the induction right you think you learn programming but you learn programs ratta mar ke jaake likhna right so that's why you write right see back at you put basic right okay so that's what it is and some of them what they will do they will take from their friends uh, resume and then you know think like that one guy has written program you know is written like this c and one student will say oh you are c ah yeah. i'll write c++ yeah. i seen one student literally okay i'm not joking this thing i seen in resume one student written tum do plus likhe ho this is what i will write right okay if you see this right what do you think you not even there is no programming language invented like c++++ right just because you put your friend put two plus you don't need to add another two plus student right these things you are not going to write no windows no notepad no pubg no no mind sweeper nothing okay tomorrow i'll show you how to write okay please please do not write this is not the skill set with this what people think you will they'll hire you for embedded engineer position no way right they're talking about you know for example you know linux some of them are writing and one no sonu is telling that can i mention cal calculator <laughs> calculator application right or i can use chrome browser some of them will write chrome browser right as if it's a very big skill to have okay and in a way if you ask me after doing engineering for four years which are branch you are you know you could be from cs ec any branch right okay uh, you know if you're writing something like this it is not at all good because if you ask me uh, this microsoft office right today school children know better than us if you go and see your nephews and niece especially after this online learning has come last two years right they become expert in uh, microsoft powerpoint because all the assignments projects everything in google docs google forms they all become expert isn't it if you have your nephews niece elder brother son you know you go on your neighbor's kid school school going children if you go and see they really become an expert in microsoft office i'll tell you i have my daughter she is studying in class 7 she is showing so many options in ms word which i don't even know right so there is no you know fun in telling i know ms word ms office excel and all ye sab aapko kaam nahi hone wala so the point i am telling to you is okay what i am showing here is this is not the way you are going to write your skill set how to write we'll see that tomorrow in case if i see any of you in your <laughs> resume i'll come and beat you this is not the way to write a resume right yes for example some of you have certain you know circuit design software uh, you know um, you know hardware experience and all there is a way to add munir I, i get your question give me some time right today as i told right i am telling how not to write because students still write notepad ms word windows and all don't write okay especially after joining emergency strictly no nikal do no issues right okay and um, another very interesting point here which vivek is bringing in how should we rate our level in each programming language or skill and language or should we present as points as we know uh, uh, at each technology right okay so again this is a tricky question right suppose you learned multiple programming languages again especially students have got lot of you know 
fad or fashion that I, I learn multiple programming language, right? Okay. I tell students, right, rather than learning multiple programming languages like this, like, you know, chota, 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 take one programming language and go in depth. That's what we do in our course, if you see, right? If you attended our C module by now, right, you will know, you know, the depth that we bring in. Do you agree with me, guys? Our C module, when you even tell induction, right? If somebody can learn our C module, they can learn everything, right? Okay, but you see how you learn C programming in your college? Chota, 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 chota. Python, do chapter. C is do chapter. C plus plus do chapter. Why? You are scared to go in depth because nobody is there to guide you. And your professors also safe. They'll teach you, ye padlo, ye lab me aega, me pass kara dunga. Right? That's how we have been taught, right? So, but if you go depth is what important. So, suppose, you know, other way to look into it is to answer Vivek's question, right? Okay. For example, right? Suppose you, you learn Python on your own, let us say. Okay, you, it's not part of our curriculum. Yes, yeah, IoT students go through that. Assuming that you are an embedded students, student and you're not, uh, you only done, let us say, you'd learn Python on your own. Should I mention my resume or not? Okay, anything you can represent because many of you are asking about PCB designing, many of you are asking about hardware experience, right? My thumb rule is very simple. If you're confident, put it. If you're not confident, remove it. Okay, don't put it just for the sake of it. And then they ask you some question and then you are caught. Anyways, I'll come to the hobbies. When big hangama happens around hobbies, hobbies, extracurricular activities, we'll talk about it, right? Okay. Is it clear? Sonal, Vivek, Munir, a lot of interesting questions, huh? This batch, very active today. Okay. Um, okay. Is it fine? Okay. Got it. Arun, I think your question is there. Let me answer. Let me go to one more section and then I'll answer, right? So again, coming, this is not the way you are writing. We'll show you tomorrow how to write your skill set. Okay. We'll talk about this. I think this, uh, you know, uh, I'll come to the certification later. Okay. Let us talk about this and probably, you know, we'll stop for today. This point, I think we're almost 6.50. It's another 10 minutes left now. Okay. In this, a lot of hangama around extracurricular and hobbies. Okay. And people do what and all. They, you know, just to, to show them, you know, um, in the resume, they do certain things which is totally not up to their interest at all. Okay. Let me ask you a question okay, of extracurricular activity. And you're applying for an embedded systems engineer role. Okay. Is having, please listen carefully, is having some interesting and very impressive extracurricular activity in your resume is going to be the deciding factor of whether to hire you or not to hire you. Let me repeat, is having an impressive or very detail oriented extracurricular activity is going to be the deciding factor whether should I hire you or not hire you? What is your answer? Yes, no, don't know. Even if you don't know, right, don't know. That way you'll get clarified. Sandeep is telling no, Sonal is telling yes. Okay, some of you are telling no, no, yes, yes, don't know, very happy because she's telling depends on the company. I know I really appreciate people who are writing don't know. Actually, if you ask me, that's the right answer, given the fact that you're all entry level people, right? Okay. You know, even Renuka, Siddharth, I really appreciate it right? because you're writing you don't know. Okay, you don't know is a very good answer. The answer, the real answer is no. The real answer is no. They really don't care. If you have something, it's like nice to have. For example, when you buy a cake, I always tell this analogy in my workshop, right? If you buy a cake and then on top of it, it'll, sir, I apply some vanilla cream and then I'll keep a cherry. It's good. But I have come here to eat a cake, right? If you come and tell me, sir, only I'll give you a cream and I'll give you a cherry, right? I will not pay for you and I'll not get impressed with that. So your extracurricular activities, your hobbies, they're all like that cream and the cherry. And I know many students, many, many students who don't have any extracurricular activity on any great hobbies. They all landed in wonderful jobs, premium jobs. Okay. So coming to my you know, point that this is not a deciding factor. And if you don't have any great extracurricular activities, some people will say, I never had, sir. I'm a simple person, simple boy or a girl. I studied. I went to engineering, I do that. 
uh, you know, and I don't have anything to mention. So that's what the next question Sonal is putting me. Can we neglect? Can we remove this section? Yes. Any section in your resume, you feel that you are not having an impressive information to mention, remove it. Absolutely no issue. Because what has happened is somewhere in your college, in your school, right? Somebody has thought that, oh, barna padega aapko. Okay. I'll come to the same example, right? Hobbies. Again, huge hangama, right? Many of you don't know the difference between hobby and a time pass, right? Do you know what is a hobby and a time pass? What is a hobby? Can you tell me? How do you define a hobby? Let me get some answers. Or give me some examples of a hobby, right? Yeah. Hobby is something which is regular, which is passionate, which you love to do, and you're doing it regularly. Okay. Regularly, for example, meditation, Siddharth is telling very good. Okay. Reading books is a is a hobby, right? And when somebody asks you some question, right? We should be uh, you know, uh, yeah, hitting a gym, okay. Uh, we, we you know, give us happiness, right? Cooking, anything, it could be dancing, it could be anything. But the point I'm trying to say is like when you mention something in your resume, when they ask a question, you should be able to answer. For example, people will write, okay, reading books. Okay. Uh, I see the resume, I see reading books because I also like to read a lot of books. I see, okay, I'll ask some simple question. Which is the last book you read? No answer. Which means say what? A friend say tapa hua. Friend written reading books, I'll write reading books. Okay. And many of you will write a hobbies like that. Watching TV, surfing internet. Right? Is it a hobby or a time for watching Netflix? Right? Is it a watching Netflix, browsing, surfing net, or you know, this thing? It's all time pass. And you write a you know, listening to music. That's fine. If somebody asks you what type of music you write, you like. People are right, huh? Sir. Right? So hobby is something which is unique, which is um, specific. Even books, right? Book reader can relate to me because I read. Okay, I I can say right. There's a huge difference. There's a fiction reader, the non-fiction readers. There is a thriller readers, novel readers, right? And even among non-fiction, there's a very different categories: business, history, philosophy, spirituality. It goes on and on and on, right? Books is a very very broad topic. I'm not an expert about music, so I cannot talk about it. Books definitely I can talk about, right? So specific things you should tell for example playing chess yes right if they ask right suppose they ask you mention ayush is mentioning right playing chess i'll ask you right which is your favorite move you should be able to tell and you know in chess there are various naming mechanisms right which which is your favorite and we can say which is your favorite do you like rook or you right you you like you like uh, you know um a bishop right you should be able to tell right so again the question may be sir yes sir nahi hai, sir okay extra curricular curricular right and hobby uh, uh, okay I wrote in my and and as I speak right as I'm and, and I'm telling them right uh, if you're not not having this information remove 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 some students are telling sir if you keep on removing what will be there in my resume sir some of you are wondering like that yes no is a mere nikal de one 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 what will I write in my resume? Right? Okay. Blank white paper I cannot give to the company, right? Okay. Anyways, we'll discuss about that. Point I'm trying to, you know, trying to say is that if you're really passionate, mention, confident, you mention. Otherwise, no mention, no tension, right? Just for the sake of please don't, it's not a template you are filling. I'm giving you a template. You must fill something. No, it is a story, it's about you. Whether you have that feature or you don't have that feature, right? And then you be be comfortable with it. That's why you are. And each one of you uh, are unique in yourself. Okay, just because your friend has written, you don't need to write. God has created us unique human beings, right? What applies to one person is doesn't apply to other person, right? So don't feel shy. Don't feel sad. Sir, my hobby name kya karo? No need to worry. Remove it. Right? Okay. Let me see some questions. Mm solving cubes right and there's a question from afan right uh, you know um sir we don't have a hobby and hr asks, what is your hobby you tell no hobby mera, mera, what you will do in free time i sleep tell no no issues time ta, kya karo? Main so taun, sir. no tension no problem just to impress hr you want to create a hobby huh, i like to solve atomic physics <laughs> don't don't do manufacture this and believe me 
that is not a deciding factor at all not at all that to, after coming to emergency right okay, some people go mad especially internship student are asking right people will do six internship one internship in embedded system one in internship in web programming one internship in uh, data science one internship in digital marketing and all video uh, watching video next 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 daba 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 ah oh yeah certificate 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 generate and put it and certification has become one big fashion among students i'm telling you i go mad when i see certification same thing certifications hai likho but just for the sake of it people will buy you know i know many students who take linkedin gives one month uh, uh, you know e learning for free they'll buy one month they give the credit card 31st day they'll cancel okay in 30 days kya karte hain subah utho video no no going through the video and next 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 okay finally generate certificate button to book ha uh, go and share in linkedin right uh, i completed oh and they'll be introduction to artificial intelligence for people in the oh, okay apart from the, what you have done you have not learned artificial intelligence you learned how to press button and generate a certificate that's what people have done so don't go too much into the certification hobby you know uh, these type of uh, extra curricular activities and if you don't have any remove it okay absolutely fine okay no just for the sake of it don't do it you will get caught in fact okay i'm telling you know i have interviewed many people i asked them can you tell me books what is the latest book you read this guy don't have an answer right don't be yourself that is that only will put you down right not because you know in your hr interview you are not able to hr oh you don't have a hobby i'll reject you right? nobody will do you that okay because they are hiring for embedded system role okay and same thing people talk about communication skill we talk in the interview preparation session right many people think i should speak good english sir okay okay right okay so look at this ayush is telling so i was rejected in crampton in college time that i mentioned so many certificate at last i was stuck on many questions yes if i put a certificate i'll ask questions no and you are not able to answer i'll reject ma'am then i'll figure it out now how you got so many certificates right okay so that's what it is right so if you remember it very simple things but unfortunately what i learned from interacting with all of you that today's discussion right okay uh, discussion if you see right we are breaking lot of myth and lot of wrong beliefs which has been told by some professor some friend some senior somebody in your relative somebody has told right i am removing everything ma'am aaj today what i am doing i am taking vacuum cleaner and i am putting in your head and removing all the dirt all the previous you know unwanted thinking so tomorrow i can plant the right thinking anyways we still have some more uh, sections left we'll pick it up from uh, there you know we still have right tomorrow we'll continue uh, how not to write a resume because if you remove all the dust right cleaning is and then you know aapka dimag saaf ho jayega then i will plant a how to that is like easy for me right but before that i want to clear because you see right so many you know unwanted thing planted thing uh, uh, 2022 years you have been you know grown up with this coming up right okay that's what my aim for today and i think we reached a decent uh, shape by now uh, i think i'll pause now because we hardly have 3 minutes left you know evening you know evening batch students already crying right they have lab they are missing etc okay um you know um so let us stop here and then continue i'll i'll use the same notepad uh, we'll pick it up from you know these things right we'll we'll discuss about the remaining sections tomorrow and then we'll start with the actual workshop right how to build a resume right today we discussed about why we need to build a resume and uh, what not to do in a resume we covered only half or 60% tomorrow we'll cover that so that your remaining vacuum cleaner work is done then we'll get into how to write to write write a resume we'll we'll do that tomorrow okay make sense okay can i get some feedback how was today's session guys very funny and interesting <laughs> epic <laughs> amazing okay uh, sir says ayush very helpful okay great says shubhash saurabh excellent says praveen quite new but impressive and knowledge
all right so funny what are all doubts cleared amazing zing zing <laughs> right can't i i got disconnected hope i am audible now okay myth are destroyed from our minds i am very happy to see that and you know, afan is telling right my idea is to clean mai bola na aaj vacuum cleaner ka kaam hai aapke dimag mein jo bhi hai i want to clean first then i will come to tomorrow you know with a fresh start process okay all right folks uh, so thank you very much for joining today so let us resume our discussion uh, ah recorded video i will reach you give me some time all these things i'll record it i'll put it in a you know youtube link or somewhere share it in your email group and probably we'll send out a whatsapp message also it will reach you don't worry even the monthly meeting my team is consolidating everything will reach you don't worry give me some time because i'm having back to back sessions right all the sessions disha monthly meeting everything we'll send it to you no issues okay so thank you very much for uh, joining today i know it's 7 pm uh, classes will be starting See you tomorrow, same time, same link. We'll continue from where we left today. Bye.